Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. If you have a gaming monitor with a high resolution, high refresh rate that's 120 hertz and above, I'm going to explain to you why you may not want to use the optimized feature in the GeForce Experience application. I have a 2K 144 hertz gaming monitor and I didn't realize I was playing games at 60 hertz until recently. I'm going to explain to you what the optimization settings did and how I fixed it and how I saw the full benefit of using my monitor to the full 144 hertz capability. All right, so currently I run a dual monitor setup. In this monitor, my main monitor I have is the BenQ EX 2780 Q 27 inch 144 hertz gaming monitor with display HDR 400, Trivalo 2.1 audio and AMD FreeSync. Um, I actually just did it recently an unboxing of it. If you want to see that, I'll put the card up at the top. That is my main monitor. And then on the left, I have an older Asus VP228H 21.5. So those are the two monitors I use. Uh, I play Destiny 2 as my first person shooter right now. And I think the increased refresh rate would be beneficial for me or for the gameplay. And so I was super excited to try that out. And I was kind of misled. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to use the GeForce Experience app to optimize my game settings for Destiny. But before I do that, I just want to show you what kind of rig I have. I have a GeForce 2080 Super video card. I'm running an AMD Ryzen 3700X. So it's a pretty powerful um, machine and 32 gigs of RAM. So what I did was I just clicked on the optimize button, thinking that it was gonna optimize my settings for me. So I clicked optimize and then here are the settings. And that was the recommended solution, a resolution. I decided to use my NVIDIA control panel to see what resolution it was and what the setting was. So the recommended setting that it tells me gives me only a refresh rate of 60 hertz, which is 60 frames per second. But I want it at 144 frames per second, so I changed the resolution and I saved it. All right, so as soon as I hit play, and if I go to my settings, My resolution it automatically changed my resolution to 384 by 2160, which is right, but my refresh rate is only 60 hertz. So if I go back to it playing, my frames per second is maxing out 60 frames per second. And I'm disappointed as I am. I should have 144 frames per second. And the reason being is when it optimized, when GeoForce Experience optimized it, it optimized it at 4K by 2K and refreshes 60 hertz. And I was actually playing like this for a while and I noticed there wasn't much of a difference. So now I'm going to exit out and I'll show you what I did to change that. So now I'm going to go back into GeForce Experience and I want to change the resolution. So I hit revert to undo all those settings. I'm going to hit the wrench that's next to it. Click on it. And now I'm going to change it to a resolution where I know it can do 144 hertz. So in this case, the resolution is 2560 by 1440. And that should give me up to 144 hertz when I play Destiny 2. So now I'm going to save it. So as you can see, now the resolution matches at 2560 by 1440. And it should give me a max refresh rate of 144 hertz. So let's go into Destiny and try it out. 
because now that I made those changes, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see that it's maxing out 141, 144 frames per second, which is what I wanted. That's just a quick tutorial on how to make sure you get your full potential of your gaming monitor and why using the optimization feature in the GeoForce experience isn't always the best case scenario for you, especially if you want to see the full refresh rates that you have, such as my case, the full 144 hertz monitor or 144 frames per second. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Thank you for watching and until next time.